This is very difficult not to be happy with the two set of numbers because they are coming from a great contribution from all business units uh, from an underlying standpoint of view, but also uh, from a uh, sustainability standpoint of view. Uh, they are coming uh, through the execution of our plans in terms of growth and, and, and priorities. And uh, also they are coming uh, thanks to the operating leverage we have been creating uh, by being very disciplined on cost and, uh, and also uh, our resource util utilization like capital. So I think that's, uh, you know, to be honest, it's very difficult not to be happy across the board this time. Just focusing on the investment banking business for a moment, to what extent, though, do you think these numbers have been flattered by the relatively strong markets we've seen? Is, is there the opportunity in coming quarters to replicate the kind of returns that we've seen? Well, Jeff, if you, if you go back into 2018 and 19, we had very strong markets and the results across the board were not necessarily good. What we see is a more normalized volatility level. I mean, you know, go away from the spike of the first quarter and beginning of the second quarter. In the last few months, we saw lower volatility, but still closer to historical levels uh, and as I mentioned before we also see the benefits of our investments in uh, in technology in terms of uh, straight through execution electronic execution we have been investing in our investment banking uh, business uh, in uh, in respect of uh, origination capabilities so I think that there is a, a strong sustainability and uh, an ability for us to perform uh, over uh, the next cycles you have expressed um, some uh, uh, concern about the outlook uh, in terms of uh, uncertainty, and I quote, the range of possible outcomes remains wide, making reliable predictions difficult when it comes to the path of COVID and its impact on the global economy and the Swiss economy going forward. What does that say about the amount of visibility you have both on markets and on uh, fee income from uh, the personal and corporate banking business? Well, it's true that uh, the amount of visibility uh, is very limited, but this has not really changed in the last uh, few years and, and, and months. Uh, I think that what we are doing is we stay very agile and very uh, uh, focused on executing on our plan. In respect of uh, the impact on our uh, personal and corporate banking in Switzerland, the quality of our uh, um, credit portfolio, the, the, quality, the underlying quality of uh, the borrowers in Switzerland uh, is, uh, is strong. Uh, we see absolutely no uh, deterioration uh, or migration of uh, 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 positions to uh, uh, st stage three. Uh, the, you know, the vast majority of uh, the provisions we had so far this year, which are quite limited uh, compared to um, our competitors, are due to modeling and expectations. So unless you see a dramatic uh, change in the outlook for the economies, uh, I, I feel very comfortable about his uh, uh, positions and also our ability to, in any case, generate enough uh, uh, revenues and, and, and prof profits across the board to offset any headwinds like we had uh, so far this year. Because, you know, you look at the environment, it's not just a rosy picture. Uh, you know, we negative rates, uh, low rates in the U.S., negative rates in Europe and Switzerland going on. Uh, the credit provisions we spoke about uh, uh, before, and uh, you, you can see how uh, this translates into a, you know, still uh, good but uh, uh, challenging environment.